Hey friends, welcome. Thank you for being here with me. I am Sarah Jane Gage and I am CEO of Engage Fitness. I am a Kripalu yoga instructor and functional fitness trainer. And this class is a quick 20 minute practice of power flow and flex. Thanks for being here. This practice in particular is going to focus in a little bit more on back and core strength. So as we flow together, building a powerful yoga flow, we'll incorporate some body weight exercises to help us build muscle and strength throughout. As we flow together, my friend, take what you need. Feel free to support yourself and your practice. This is meant to serve you and you don't have to force yourself into the practice or certain shapes or asanas. It should be the other way around. The practice should serve you. So take what you need. We're gonna start in our mountain pose. Standing rooted through all points of the feet. Maybe rock it forward and back a few times. Feel those feet, toes, tendons, ligaments wake up and then drop the feet down. Get nice and tall through the crown of the head. As you inhale, hands rise up overhead. Little back bend at the top. Lead with your heart swan dive, forward fold. <sighs> inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale and fold, hands to the mat. Step back, high plank. Take a big inhale, shift it forward, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. When you get to the bottom, baby cobra or up dog, big inhale. As you exhale, lower down, tap the chest. Keep those hands right underneath your shoulders, elbows tucked in really close. Push yourself back up to your up dog shape. Exhale, slow lower. The arms are doing all of the work here. Press through the fingertips, press through the mat, rise up. Exhale, slow control, lower. Take it three more times, press up. Activate the arms, the chest, the upper body. Last one. As you exhale and lower down, tuck those toes, rise the hips up, down dog. Step big toes together, inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift forward, knee to chest, high plank. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Left foot comes to meet it, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive palms, meet overhead. And exhale to heart center. Inhale, take a gentle back bend. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, step back, high plank. This time, if you'd like to kick up a leg before you take that chaturanga, kick it up, take a big inhale. Shift it forward, lower down slow. When you get to the bottom, baby cobra or up dog, inhale. Exhale and lower, press through the mat again, keep those elbows tucked in close, rise up, cobra press. Exhale and lower, three more times, cobra press through the mat, activate the upper body. Last one, as you exhale and lower, tuck the toes, rise the hips up, down dog. Step those big toes together, inhale, left leg high. As you exhale, shift forward, knee to chest, high plank. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, reverse, palms meet. And exhale to heart. Inhale, rise up, back bend. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, make this your slowest Chaturanga, yet. Yeah, hit that high plank, shift it forward, super slow with your breath lower in. When you get to just about an inch above, stop, 
Rise up into your baby cobra or up dog. So technically in a chaturanga, our chest should not hit the ground. We should hover about an inch and then rise up, leading with the heart. As you exhale, lower down, find your superman, get long from fingers to toes, maybe even kicking those legs out, pointing the toes away. As you inhale, rise. Squeeze the whole back body to rise into your superman. As you exhale, slow, lower. Tap down, inhale and rise. Exhale, slow, lower. Tap and rise. Two more, just like that. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes, rise the hips. Down dog. Step those big toes together. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, knee to chest, high plank. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, step that right foot forward in between the hands. Let the left toes land high, setting up your crescent lunge. Rise up and sink in. As you land there, stack the tailbone to neutral. Core to neutral, ribs knit down, shoulders melt away from your ears. Drop the elbows in line with shoulders. From here, keeping everything else really still. Take your delt, squeeze in your cactus arms. Drop those elbows down, big squeeze as they come close to the body. So you stay right where you are, I'm just gonna show you a different angle of that. We're here, squeezing at the bottom. Squeezing the delts. Next inhale, rise those hands up towards the sky. Windmill the hands down, frame the foot, step it back to meet the other and down dog. Take a look to the top of the mat, hop, step, walk to the top, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reverse, palms meet. And exhale to heart. Inhale and rise, back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Find that high plank and super slow chaturanga once more. Kicking up a leg if you'd like. Shift it forward. Slow, lower, down. When you get to an inch above the mat, rise up. Baby cobra or up dog, your choice. Exhale, lower down. Find your Superman, long from fingers to toes once more. This time, inhale, rise, squeeze. As you're risen up, take that delt squeeze at the top here. Extend and lower. So it's an inhale, rise, squeeze, and lower. Rise, squeeze, lower. Three more of these with your own breath. Next exhale, as you lower down to the mat, hands under shoulders, tuck the toes, rise to down dog. Step those big toes together. As you inhale, left leg rises high. Exhale, shift forward, meet to chest, high plank. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge, rise up and sink in. As you land here, take your time. Find that neutral tailbone. Most of us land sticking it way out. Tuck it under slightly. Ribs knit down, sink in. And then you choose. Would you like a little more delt squeeze action here and your crescent on the other side? Or maybe there's another variation this time. Maybe you'd like a press and a chest fly instead. Whichever you choose, keep your base really stable and let the movement happen in the upper body. One more round of breath. 
the end of that next exhale. Windmill those hands down. Bring the foot, step it back to meet the right down dog. Come to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reverse, palms meet. And exhale to heart center. Inhale and rise, back bend. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, find your high plank this time. Hold your high plank. From here, take opposite hand, opposite shoulder for a shoulder tap without moving your body. So I totally was moving my body there. Move nothing except for opposite hand to opposite shoulder. And if it's too much for you in that high plank, you can come down to the knees. Take it in a tabletop. You can even play in the tabletop to get your movement, see what that should feel like, and then come up into your high plank and play with it there. We're here for two more breaths, doing what you can. Next exhale, shift it forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, lower, tuck the toes, rise the hips up, down dog. Get your weight nice and even between hands and feet. Keep that core engaged, navel to spine, opposite hand, opposite foot, little tap. Opposite hand, opposite foot in your down dog. Get a little twisting action as you reach. And if you'd like to pause for a stretch, you can pause in that twisted down dog if that's available and feels good. One more round of breath here. As you exhale, take a pause. Drop the knees down, swing them around in front of you. Find your up boat shape. Whew. Are you building a sweat yet? <laughs> Sits bones to your mat. Use the hands behind your knees. Pull yourself up tall. Suck that navel into spine. This is the most important part of this pose. Keep that core and spine strong. Lean in a little bit to feel your core activation turn on a bit more and find your favorite variation of up pose. If you're not sure where to go, follow along with me. I'll show you some variations. If you know what you like in up pose, go ahead. Take your crunches, take your toe taps, whatever you want. Some other variations of up bow, you can take those hands back behind you. Lean into them a little bit and play here to build it up, either with a toe tap, taking both toes. It's another fun variation to hit the low hips and low abs. Or you can hold. You can also take opposite hand, opposite foot for a little twisting in your up boat. Or you can hold. You can play with a infinity symbol. Taking your steeple fingers, oh boy, that's probably the worst of them. <laughs> By worst, I mean hardest and most fun. That's really what I mean. <laughs> I like to have double meanings to some words when we work out together, friend. <laughs> Whichever up bow variation you've chosen here, hold it for one more breath. And then as you exhale, slow, lower down to the mat. You can lower down as slow as you like if you'd like a little more ab engagement there. Whew. When you get to the bottom, find your bridge pose. Hands by your side, pressing down, tuck that chin slightly, squeeze the glutes to rise the hips up high. As you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your butt cheeks, there's also a squeeze of your abdominals. So we have a contrasting squeeze here to hold us up really strong. Begin to slow lower down. Let your bottom touch the mat for just a second and then rise it right back up. Big squeeze to explosively send your hips back up. And begin to link your breath with it. So as the hips rise up and you press explosively, 
It's a quick blow out of the breath. As you lower slow, it's a slow controlled lower and a slow controlled inhale. On that exhale, blow that breath out. Pursed lips, like you're blowing out birthday candles really quick, really fast. Last round. As your hips land on the mat, pull the knees into the chest. Give them a big squeeze. And then drop the legs down wide, bring the arms wide, create a star pose shape on your mat. Bringing a mental muscle connection to your abdominals and your obliques. Here's what's doing all of the work. I'm giving you the answer here. Abs and obliques do all of the work. Slow inhale and rise. Bring opposite hand to opposite foot. Squeeze. And then slow, control of lower. Let's start to slow things down, friends. Inhale and rise, squeeze. Exhale, slow, lower. Take it side to side. And if this isn't available to you, a really good modification, a good way to work up to it, bend the knees. Bring the soles of the feet, and then the same exact movement, opposite hand, opposite knee, but that mental muscle connection is again to your abdominals. Because what will happen, friends, is our body likes to compensate and make things easier for us if we let it. That's why our mental muscle connection, that union of mind and body in our practice is so important so that we can activate the proper muscles. We can feel that connection, that engagement that happens within us. One more on each side. As you exhale and release, bend the knees, arms to a T position at shoulder height, just to stay anchored. Let the knees flow side to side. Windshields, wipe your knees. If you'd like a bit of a chest opener, those arms can be in cactus arms, so your elbows are in line with shoulders, or goalpost arms, we sometimes call them. And as the knees flow side to side, you can feel a little twisting, a little stretching happening. Let the breath start to slow down. The movement begins to slow down. Bring the knees into the chest. Big squeeze as you inhale. Exhale, extend them long. Arms come up overhead. Good morning, stretch. Get as long as you can from fingers to toes. Big inhale. As you exhale, bring those knees into the chest. Squeeze and release. Take it one more time. Big inhale, stretch long. As you exhale, squeeze and release. Allow yourself to find just a moment, just a couple of breaths of pause here. Notice your experience in this moment. The thoughts, feelings, sensations that are present, they are exactly as they are meant to be. You are exactly where you are meant to be. You're doing it exactly right. There's no wrong way to be in your body, no wrong way to relax, no wrong way to do yoga. Next inhale, rise those hands up overhead. Get really long from fingers to toes as you inhale. And then exhale, make your way to a tall, comfortable seat on your mat. No right or wrong way to sit. Find a place that you're comfortable. 
that the lungs are open, and that your shoulders can drop away from your ears. Maybe even roll them down and back a few times to help them do exactly that. Bring your attention back to that breath and notice the flow in and out. Perhaps finding your balancing breath and creating that even inhale and exhale. And as you breathe into this moment, I'll share our reading for practice. This one is a poem entitled, The Choice. It's by Dana Falls. It's from her book, Go In and In. The Choice. Is it faith or fear that rises to the fore? Affirmation or negation at the very core and center of the self? Will it be light or dark within my heart today? The icy grip of fear that knots and sours, leaving me to cower in the shadows. There is another way. I know it as surely as I know the scent of spring. The choice of faith invites, invokes, calls forth from all creation, both the blessing and the lesson of the day. Whether faith or fear, the choice is mine alone. And in each moment, choosing, stepping through the door, trusting that the path beyond will surely lead me home. Hmm. What choices are you making in your practice and in your day to day? Know that we have that superpower, that choice is available to us and it's a powerful one. Take a big inhale, rise those hands up overhead with the breath, let the palms meet at the peak and then exhale down the heart center. Take that two more times, big inhale, rise the hands up overhead. Exhale, drop into heart. Last one, big inhale. Exhale, release, touch down to heart. Make that connection with heart space. And then bring the thumbs to the third eye, making a choice to cultivate kind thoughts. Bringing thumbs to your lips, making a choice to speak kind words. Resting back at your heart, making a choice to be kind and to engage in kindness. Namaste. Thank you, friends. Thank you for practicing with me. I am so grateful that you do. I hope you enjoyed this short and fun power flow and flex focusing on back and core strength. This was a request. I had lots of requests this week. It's made it really, really fun. Uh, so if you liked this or if we were doing this and you were like, hey, you know what power flex and flow would be really fun to focus on? Let me know what you're thinking. Tell me your requests. Tell me what you want to see. I'm having a lot of fun fulfilling the request piece. So keep them coming. Till next time, friends, be safe, be kind, continue choosing to be well. If you need a little bit more of a hard-hitting workout at 11 o'clock, I'll be on with the YMCA for 45-minute hit. You can check that out there, or I'll share it here later, and you can check it out at your convenience. Have a good day.